Frank, is that you? Well, I don't know for sure. <laughs> what does Frank look like? Oh, let me see. He's dark and distinguished, handsome, lots of personality. You must be thinking of Gregory Peck. Oh, silly. If I'd wanted Gregory Peck, I'd have married him. <laughs> Why didn't you put the car away? I thought we'd go see him. Who? Gregory Peck. At the drive-in movie, silly. Oh, that'll be wonderful. Hey, what's this? Oh, I thought it would be nicer to eat in here. Well, this is nice. Good dinner, bottle of wine, movie. Just what we need to celebrate. Frank, you got a job. Why didn't you tell me right away? I wanted to surprise you. I am a salesman, madam. Salary plus commissions. That's good. Isn't it? No limit to what I can earn. What's the matter? I don't get the job until next month, Mildred. Oh, Frank. Yes, I know. We need it now. Bills, insurance, payments, back rent. We'll have to struggle through it somehow. Mr. Willard called today. If we don't have the rent by Monday, he's going to evict us. Well, we can't say we weren't expecting it. That's the trouble. If you don't own your own home, how many times have I said it? If we just owned our own home... We will someday, darling. You just watch. Of course, it won't be next year, but now that you'll be working... Yeah, I know, but suppose the bottom falls out of this job the way they did out of the last one. Frank, that last job lasted over four years. Nothing lasts forever. But you don't understand, dear. Even if it does last a few years, say six or seven, I'd be 60 then. And 60-year-old men just don't get jobs. That's what scares me, Mildred. Too old to be employed. Too young for old age pension. Eat your salad, dear. We'll get along. We always have. Yeah, on what? On what I'll save in the next 10 years? No, well, there's always our insurance policies. If we can keep up the payments on those. Oh, sure. We'd have two or three hundred dollars. It's not an endowment, you know. One of us has to die. I've been thinking that wouldn't be a bad idea. Frank, don't talk like that. Now, I know it's discouraging, but we'll work it out. I love you. You're worth a lot more to me than $25,000, and you remember it. All right, honey. I promise not to do myself in. What I really had in mind was to spike your wine with a little arsenic. Mm, well, that's an entirely different matter. But wouldn't it be safer if I just fell down a well and was never heard of again? That way you could report the matter to the insurance company, collect the money, and have a wonderful time. No one has to die. No one has to die. Not actually. If the insurance company believed that either of us were dead, we'd get the $25,000. do not you see? If you were to, to disappear, just vanish completely, and I reported you dead, it would be the same thing. It wouldn't at all. If it were as simple as that, all the dishonest people in the country would be doing it. It's stealing. But think of what it would mean to us. It would mean security. No more worrying about bills and that little place in the country we've been thinking about for so long. It'd be wonderful, but you can't fool an insurance company like that. They'd have to have proof. They wouldn't just take your word for sure, it. Sure, they'd demand a body. But, but you know, after a certain length of time, a missing person is considered dead. You know, you hear about courts declaring people legally dead. Frank? Frank? How long would I have to be? Seven years. Oh. But of course, that's just when we'd need it most. I'd be more than 60 then. We wouldn't have to worry, not for a minute. We'd get a nice, quiet little place in the country, just relax and enjoy life. But seven years, Frank. No, honey, but we could meet occasionally after it all blows over. You know, we could have dates secretly, and I could court you all over again. We'd never get away with it, would we? Of course, you'd have to have to move, rent an apartment under another name. In Los Angeles, for instance, uh, change your appearance a little. If I had a new dress uh, and wore glasses. I really do need glasses, Frank. And maybe dyed my hair. Oh, you'd look ten years younger. No one would recognize you. Yes, I have let myself go. And maybe get a job again. It would help out on the insurance payments. We'd have to keep those up, wouldn't we? Yes, it won't be easy, Mildred. Seven years, that's an awfully long time. It's just as long for you. I could stand it as long as we could keep seeing each other. In secret, I mean. And wouldn't really be stealing, would it? If we kept up the payments. Really would be our money, wouldn't it? I don't care about that. What can they prove? As long as we do it right, the scheme is foolproof. Come on, we'll drink a toast. 
to the next seven years. the next seven years?